first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so here in this mistake series video we will be seeing some of the mistakes that usually every student used to do at the beginning of learning aptitude for the competitive exams or even i have seen some students are making these kinds of mistakes in the competitive exam itself so these kinds of mistakes usually happen only because of the time pressure in their exams because student have to solve the question within 20 seconds or within 30 seconds so because of the time pressure i have seen many students or usually they used to do these kinds of silly mistakes on their exams that is especially on the mathematics so in order to avoid those kinds of mistake so this mistake series video will definitely help you to avoid such a mistakes in the upcoming competitive exams so don't forget to watch all the complete mistake series video so that it will be very very helpful if you are preparing for the competitive exams so and one more important thing so many students those who are asking all my videos all my feel free to learn videos in offline either it can be a pen drive mode or it can be sd card mode where you can get the pen drive and you can able to watch all my videos what i posted on my channel feel free to learn in offline so get the pen drive or get the sd card start learning for the upcoming competitive exams if you want any details how to purchase it whatsapp us so our team will contact you soon so thank you so much and now let me move on to the mistake series videos so friends here is the video number four that is on the mistake series on the topic simplification on the concept called mixed fraction so just look at the question 4 1 by 3 minus 3 1 by 2 is equal to question mark so here this mixed fraction question usually i have seen students used to solve in two different method so method number one they convert this mixed fraction into a fraction and then they take lcm and they find what is the value of question mark so only five percentage of the students use that method number one i will teach you the method number one so in this method number one i have seen many students will not make any mistake but they won't use method number one to solve these kind of question why because if the question is like little bit a two digit number or a three digit number you can't able to use method number one that will be a lengthy process but anyway i will i will tell you how this method number one applies to solve the question just see here 4 1 by 3 right so 4 1 by 3 can be written as 4 into 3 will be 12 so 12 plus 1 will be 13 so 13 by 3 minus of 3 into 2 will be 6 6 plus 1 will be 7 7 by 2 equal to question mark and then they will take lcm as 6 and then they start solving the question like this so finally they will get the value of question mark is equal to some number so this is one way of solving a question but only five percentage of the students used to proceed the, this solvation method why because you know the problem here is if the numerator is 113 example i am saying right if the number is like this 9 1 by 17 minus of 7 1 by 23 equal to question mark so if the numbers are like this 17 23 so definitely taking an lcm and multiplying with the numerator part is not at all an easy method you will get around 1000 2000 the numerator so that feels to be very tricky to solve the question so i have seen students those who are studying for the competitive exams for more than six months or one year definitely will not solve this question by method one only the beginning uh, stage you will solve by these kinds of question by method one but after some stage you will not solve the question by method one only if you if you know that method number two you can able to crack these kinds of questions soon but the problem here is i've seen students make mistake only on this method number two so just see the method number two here is the mixed fraction four one by three they just remove the mixed fraction four one by three as an integer and a fraction just see here this four one by three can be written as four plus one by three understood so similarly this is the area where students make a mistake minus 3 1 by 2 how students will separate here is minus 3 plus 1 by 2 is equal to question mark so is this right way to solve the question no it is wrong so this part is completely wrong where students making mistake again and again on this area minus 3 plus 1 by 2 so here the mistake here is just see here minus 3 1 by 2 it's a mixed fraction in order to remove that mixed fraction into an integer and a fraction this minus is common for both understood or not so this minus is common for 3 as well as this minus is common for 1 by 2 
so whenever you remove this number from a mixed fraction you have to write this as minus 3 minus 1 by 2 equal to question mark understood or not so 4 plus 1 by 3 this is the right way to uh, separate the question right so don't make this mistake right if it is minus 3 1 by 2 you should write as minus 3 minus 1 by 2 you should not write minus only for the first number that is wrong right so now just here after this it will be easy first you have to take the integer 4 and this integer is minus 3 so 4 minus 3 will be 1 and then the remaining part will be 1 by 3 minus 1 by 2 so after that all the part will be similar we have to take lcm as 6 and the answer will be 1 by 6 so 1 plus 1 by 6 will be uh, 6 and 7 by 6 i think so that will be the answer i don't know exactly but this is the way to solve understood or not right so method number one we we will not remove the mixed fraction into a integer and a fraction we directly convert the mixed fraction into a fraction and we take lcm that will be helpful only for the small number of questions that is if a question that has only 9 7 6 etc but if you have two digit or a three digit number so do not proceed the question by a method number one so only method number two will be helpful so in this method number two where the students will make a mistake is this minus part right i have taken one another example question here so just see this question 9 1 by 3 minus 3 1 by 7 minus 1 1 by 7 is equal to question mark so how to remove this mixed fraction number into an integer and a fraction so be careful right just see here the first thing so 9 plus 1 by 3 understood so minus this minus is common for 3 as well as for 1 by 7 so minus 3 minus 1 by 7 understood or not similarly minus 1 1 by 7 now you need to write this minus 3 minus 1 by 7 so minus 1 minus 1 by 7 is equals to question mark so friends understood or not and then solving a question will be very simple right just take the integers 9 minus 3 and minus 1 right so 9 minus 3 and minus 1 and the remaining fraction part so 1 by 3 minus 1 by 7 minus 1 by 7 is equal to question mark and then solving will be same so we have to take LCM and we need to find the answer for the question mark. So the mistake part here is I have seen most of the students will make a mistake here. So if it is minus 1, 1 by 7, they will write as minus 1 and plus 1 by 7. Don't do that. This minus is common for both the numbers. So while you are separating, you have to put the minus for both the numbers. Minus 1 and minus 1 by 7 got it so don't make this mistake in this mixed fraction numbers so try to solve more number of questions if, if you can then you will get an idea so that you will not make mistakes again and again so take a note of it so which is mistake number four so friends and one more important thing in my feel free to learn platform we are providing one course that is how to make a videos education videos on a youtube platform so we will teach you all the techniques because i have seen many students who are keep on asking me i want to share the knowledge to the other students how i can make a videos proper education videos on a youtube platform so this is a green screen video you can able to see the background is completely green screen i am using a software a tab and a pen so i will teach you all the steps right how to make a proper education videos and how to start your youtube channel where you should invest money and where should not invest your money and wasting your money is not needed so if you if you have a passion of teaching or if you like you want to share your knowledge to the other students by teaching and youtube or various platform we will definitely help you how to make a proper education videos it will be a complete paid course i will told you already i have told you why it is paid everything so in case if you have any details whatsapp us we will we will help you to join in the private class and we will make you and we will help you to make an education videos on your own so thank you so much friends for watching this video bye